This video is about a case study of urban growth in an NEE and we've studied Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. For this case study you, you need to know where is Rio and why is it important, what has caused it to grow, as a result of that growth what's been the opportunities, what's been the challenges of that growth and lastly what can be used to improve the quality of life for the people that live here, so how can urban planning improve quality of life here. The causes of growth are down to two main things. The first thing is migration, rural to urban migration. And the second thing is natural increase, where the population naturally increases due to lower death rates and higher birth rates. Okay, so in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how Rio has grown. So if I draw an outline of Brazil, which looks roughly something like this. And in Brazil, up here is the Amazon rainforest, and this is generally quite rural. And down here is Rio. And Rio is on the coastline, it has five major ports, and therefore it makes it a very popular place for people to migrate. So I'm gonna put a couple of places up here. So I've got some young dependents. I've got some economically active, and I've got some elderly dependents. So there's a small settlement up here, and there's another small settlement here of some economically active, some young dependents, and an elderly dependent. And down here, there's a small population in Rio. So the first cause of urban growth is due to migration. So people have moved from the rural areas, such as the Amazon, to Rio due to push and pull factors. And generally, it's the economically active that move. So the economically active move to Rio. Sometimes they take their young dependents with them, they take their children with them. So I'm going to put a young dependent there as well. So they have been pushed away from the rural areas due to lack of jobs, lack of services and poor access to edu education. Education. <laughs> the uh, pull factors to Rio are better jobs, such as jobs in the tertiary industry where they can earn more money, better access to services and better opportunities for education. So these people have decided to migrate there. We've experienced internal migration, movement within a country from rural to Rio, which is urban. Another type of migration is international migration, where economically active people generally from overseas migrate into an area. So here we've got loads of economically active in the population and the city has already grown. So the first reason for this growth is migration. Okay, so the second reason for the increase is what we call natural increase. And natural increase happens for two reasons. First reason, economically active people meet and get together and decide to have children. Often, you have lots of children. So, here we have got an increase in the number of young dependents. Now, over time in this population, because the opportunities have increased in the city and healthcare has improved, so I'm gonna put a little plaster. So healthcare has improved in this city, people are going to live a lot longer. So these economically active people will eventually turn into, oh, 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 these economically active people are going to turn into elderly dependents and the young dependents eventually will turn into economically active and of course the economically active are going to continue to have more children so I'm going to add a load of young dependents. So our population has further increased due to this natural increase. So urban growth in Rio is due to migration internally and internationally, and the growth is also due to natural increase. So as a result of this, Rio has grown significantly, and this growth has created opportunities in terms of better healthcare, better education, better economic opportunities in more tertiary industries for higher incomes, but also this growth has created a lot of challenges as many of the new inhabitants live in favelas where the conditions are much poorer. Sorry, how do you spell opportunities, Mr. Smallman? 
Oh, God. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, yeah, like that? Yeah. Tune. Okay, good. <laughs> in summary, rural to urban migration has caused the city to grow and more people to live in urban areas. This is urbanisation. Migrants have moved from abroad. These are international migrants. Economically active people have had more children, so that increases the young dependence. Population grows further. That's a natural increase. Better healthcare means that economically active will grow into old age and become elderly dependents. Young dependents will become economically active. Economically active will have more children and therefore will increase the amount of young dependents.